So I am wondering now what life is. And that might seem like a strange question, but I think it's a question that many people need to ask themselves. Because um, I think we make a series of uh, an assumptions, a series of assumptions in life about how to proceed without due consideration of what things mean. So my life took a turn some time ago, some years ago, I think. I don't know the details. But um, basically I suffered a quite major injury and I'm still in recovery from that injury. And so life has dramatically altered and I don't remember what my life was in any real detail before but I do know that it's changed very dramatically. I know, for example, I have two children, but I don't know how old they are, or how they're doing, or where they are. But at least I know that I have children, and I have contributed to life to an extent. I'm finding things difficult to know what my place in the world is now and what I'm attempting to do and how I'm supposed to live. I'm very confused about what life is. When I think before, I was very settled and driven and assumed that I knew what was going on. I now realise, of course, that my position position was actually very fragile and that all people's position, positions are, are is fragile. Um, so what I'm trying to say is that nobody can be sure of what tomorrow will bring. The things that can happen are absolutely amazing. And even though these amazing things don't appear to happen very much, they happen enough to be concerned about. So I have to somehow find a way forward to make a plan to survive. But um, there's an expression regarding making plans concerning fools. I, I think it's basically saying that making a plan is folly in a way because it's not in your control to make the plan become reality. I'm still, I still find that I'm inclined to try and make a plan of sorts, but I am confused as to what that plan will be. So I used to be an independent, in control person, I felt in control anyway. And I felt in control of my destiny and in control of my life. And I knew what I was doing. Now things are very different. And um, I'm having to be dependent on the state for physical support and, and financial support. I'm not independent in that sense anymore. I'm not majorly physically disabled but I am partially disabled um, physically and mentally so life is very strange and very um, difficult to understand I feel I'm just um, a person being treated in residential care not quite a hospital but part way towards the hospital. And life is very incomprehensible to me, and I, I really don't know what it is or where it's going. Um, I don't know what to do with myself. 
because of my injury, um, it's hard to concentrate and make plans and remember things. And it's very frustrating. But at the same time as being frustrated, I'm also very happy that it isn't worse. I've realised that as bad as things are for me, it's a lot better than it could be. And there are so many people enduring far worse situations. And it's just so awful. And I feel for them so much. I think it's absolutely incredible the ad adversity that people have to deal with in life. And there is no other way to deal with it except to try and go forward. Um, there simply isn't another means of solving some of the problems that can happen. So I keep thinking what could have happened and what could still happen. I could have lost an arm or a leg or something. And that, that could still happen and so things might get worse. I have some issues with my mental capacity. But, but once again, um, things would be a lot worse. I could find it impossible to speak as I am now, for example. And impossible to chew my food. And there are people out there that can't feed themselves. They can't sit up or roll over in bed. Or can't scratch their toes. Their, their feet if they, they need to. They can't go to the toilet by themselves. I can't believe that these thoughts never crossed my mind before. I simply didn't understand how awful life can be for many people. Now, I consider my life to be partway awful now, but I am so glad that it's only partway awful rather than completely awful. The, the range of difficulties that can hit you in life is just enormous. And also, fairly common. I don't think it's unusual to experience real adversity in life. But the way we're constructed means these things don't really cross our minds. We don't think about the negative so much because it's not useful to do so, I suppose. Maybe we're the built to only deal with the negative when it actually occurs rather than thinking about, thinking about it when it hasn't occurred. So, so I am thinking that Reality is strange. Um, I do have to deal with things somehow. And I am trying to find ways to, to do so. And part of it is this communication, for example. Attempting to stop myself from going crazy. Um, I really hope it proves worthwhile. I do feel a sense of pleasure, if you like in communicating and expressing myself and whether it will achieve anything for me going forward is hard to say but I suppose that's secondary at the end of the day is what I want to do now and so I'm doing it whether it will work in any significant way remains to be seen but I will try going forward because it's not like I have a great deal of, cho of choice. Life does what it's going to do. And I suppose I just have to deal with it somehow. I really am hopeful that progress will lead to something. That progress will happen. Because I don't want to be just stuck in a position indefinitely.